In this week's episode of Back to Basics with Todoist, we're talking tasks. Hello, my name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode of Working with Todoist, we're continuing our Back to Basics theme and we're going into the tasks. So we're talking about all the little things that you can do with tasks. We're talking how to actually create a task from within Todoist and we're talking about how you can turn some of the features off if you don't want to use them. Now over the last three weeks we've covered setting up projects, setting up labels and setting up filters and so really now what we need to do is to go into the meat of Todoist and go into task creation and there are a few little things that you can do that can create tasks that actually help you to get more things done. Now this is a little bit of a secret that I'm going to go out there because not many people know about this one but what you should be doing when you create a task all tasks should start with an action verb and what I mean is things like call Bill, uh, tell my team de, write report and so on and so forth. So we're talking call, tell and write for example are what I call action verbs. Create and continue with are okay for those long-term projects but really we're looking at short sharp action verbs because that is what inspires us to actually do our tasks and I'm going to show you what I mean when we go into to do it so that you can actually see this in action. So guys let's get straight into Todoist and once again I'm going to ask you if you like this video please guys click the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to the channel. You just have to click the button down there or up there but just subscribe to the channel. It really does help us to be able to get our uh, information out there to as many people as we possibly can. Okay so without further ado Let's get straight into Todoist and start looking at how to create tasks. Okay, let's start with the very simple adding task. Whatever project you're in, you can click, click on the add task. It's right there. Click on that, you can add a tag. Add a task. And that's going to add it into whatever uh, project that you are in right that moment. So that's one way to do it. Let's go into our inbox. So if you tap the Q key to add another ta task, so I'm going to hit the Q key, it brings up the quick task box and I can add in anything I want. So add a new task and that's really, really straightforward. So that's very simple. You can of course click on the plus button at the top. So these are all the different ways that you can add a task. Now keep in mind, whenever you use the plus button or you use the Q keyboard shortcut that is going to add a tag task what in whatever project you're in so for example let's go into my daily task here if I click the Q key uh, this is a new task hit that is going to be in my daily project so wherever you are and you hit the Q key is going to add it inside that project keep that in mind okay let's go back to the inbox and let me just show you a lot of the things from the quick add tool. So I'm going to hit the Q key, it brings up the quick add task box. So this is a new task. What I can do now is I can, if I do the ampersand, the at sign, and I can add in uh, whatever tag I want. And to, to break this down, I can actually start typing like S, it'll bring up the S, and it'll and I can just hit that, comes in, sales team. If I hit the hash key, it's going to bring up my projects. And once again, what I can do is if I type in the M, it'll bring it up. I can hit M, so monthly. I can also type P, 
P will give me the P1 or P2 or P3 will bring me that and I can type in Monday and it's going to give me the date. Okay, so when I hit the return key here, that's going to go into Monday and it's going to come. This is a new task. It's tagged sales team and it's in my monthly project. So let's go into my monthly project. You'll see this is a new task, sales team Monday. So that's gone in. So you can actually add in all the details that you want at any specific time. Now, question, what happens if you are in another application and you want to add a task to your um, inbox? Well, that one's actually very simple. Now, the thing I want you to understand is right now I am in Safari. It's just to show you, I am in Safari. So I'm using my demo account. But if I have opened my regular account, so let's click, click on the inbox. So here we have uh, the inbox here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my universal key command. I'll show you how to do this in a moment, which is control A. And this is a new task. I can add in whatever I want. I can add in the uh, labels. I can add in the projects and I can add in a P1 and to add it as a task. So when I hit the return key, what you'll see is this has come up directly into my inbox. That is the universal adding task. Now, what you need to do is in the application to do this. Now, I'm not sure you can do this on the web, but in the application to do this, click on your preferences and down here you'll get the quick add task and you can record a shortcut. You can also record a shortcut, by the way, for show and hide to do this. But you'll need to add your quick add task. You'll need to add the universal shortcut and that will mean that you can do this in any application wherever you are. Okay, let's go back to my um, into my uh, task thing. So there we go. That's the basics of adding tasks. Now, as I showed you now, we can actually use date parsing. Now, date parsing is wonderful. So, for example, this is a, uh, this is a task. Now, date parsing. I uh, do this on Monday. Now, there is a problem here. If I add the task now, look what actually happens. This is in my, so this is a task, do this, and now it's disappeared. So we have a problem there. So what we have to do is, this is, let's try this. This is a task that needs doing on Monday. So now it's going to recognize on Monday. What you can do is just tap click on that and by the way if you're using a mobile device the same thing happens and you just need to tap Monday it'll disappear in which case then you'll just need to type in Mun on the date now I've got the full task in there but just keep that one in mind uh, with date parsing it will recognize any date and just add that as a date now the good news is and again I'm going to go into my uh, um, actual to do is if you click on the gear icon and go into settings you can actually turn off uh, date parsing. So if I go into here, so if you go into your settings under preferences, smart date recognition, you can actually click on that and no thanks, yes I want to do is to automatically recognize due date. So you can turn that on or off just from the smart date recognition right here. So keep an eye out if you don't particularly like that then you can turn it off. But you need to turn it off in the preferences either on your mobile device or turn it off um, from your settings. Now you can actually do it from here as well. You go into here, settings, and you can do it in this way. It just takes a little bit longer. So if you go into preferences and smart date recognition, you can turn it off inside your version of Todoist right there just click on that and boom you can turn it off so that's one way that you can do it but I don't mind it on I sometimes I like it sometimes I don't I just turn it on and off now let's get into some other little things you can do with texting now this is text formatting so if you want to bold you click on the double exclamation mark this is important double that and look what happens you've now bolded that particular thing and all you do is just the double exclamation mark bolds that task now what happens if 
you want to create a child task, this is a little less important. Um, all you do is kick, hit the, uh, you can do this in several ways, but the way to do it, I find it, is just drag it in and now you've created a child task. So you can turn it on and off from there. But you can do, once you've created the task, if you add the forward arrow key, it's not working, um, but you can just grab it and drag it in and just do it that way. Or use the forward arrow key if you wish, but it's not actually working on the web for some reason. But normally on my desktop version, it does work. So you can create and drag your tasks around. You can actually go even further uh, in. So when I add, the, if I just do da, 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 add that task, now I have uh, another child task within this child task. So you've got many ways of doing that. I don't know how far you can go in, but I don't know why you'd want to do that, but there you go. So you can drag them in and out. You can do whatever you want. So the only thing that I wanted to show you when we do a child task is child tasks do not disappear. They just end up with a line through them. If you want to remove them, then you can add, just click on the archive task and it will disappear. So uh, whenever you create a child task or with, uh, under a project, then you are going to have to uh, find that you will not disappear. And you'll find that you have to drag and drop tasks. So for example, if I drag this task in here um, and I click, I'll do, I'll give you two to show you how this works. So if I actually say that, okay, I've done that one. Actually, no, that wasn't the one I wanted to do. Uh, yes, it is. I would, so let's say I've done that one. Now these tasks are a bit out of order. I have to reorder them to bring them into line. But that's entirely up to you whether you want to do that or not. So you can actually create child tasks within a project. And this is specifically useful if you actually want to, I'll show you from my main account, I have one, a project that I have set up here, um, which is in my business creativity. So you'll see that I actually have one project, there's no sub projects here, and I have little things that I have to do within that and I've removed some done some of the tasks already so you can actually see that class stuff is here um, and all sorts of it waiting for and so on so I just prefer it set up in a main project like that but that's entirely up to you okay I think that's really all I wanted to cover in here um, just remember though within a task if you've got like in here you've got these completed ones you can click on the archive or you can delete the task completely it's entirely up to you and that really is all I wanted to cover. So hopefully you found this episode useful. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to cover anything specifically in this Back to Basics series, please leave a comment in the section below. And other than that, it just remains for me to wish you all a very, very productive week.